We're sitting here today with Edith Long. Uh, this is your autograph book that you, had, right. that you had when you yes. were younger. Mm -hmm. Now, the autographs in here were done between 1923 and 1927 or 8. Were all these in Buffalo, New York? Or were, did you go to New York for some of these? Or were these all when stars came to Buffalo, as you recall? Most of them were uh, taken or given in Buffalo. Al Jolson. Now, I'm trying to think... You have a clipping from Big Boy at the Schubert Tech Theater. Yes. And we did, I did go to see the show. I can't recall who I went with. And I went backstage, and I did get his autograph. Mm -hmm. Oh, I was very thrilled with that. I was a Jolson fan from the beginning. Did he perform in blackface at the time? Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, at the Tech, they had many good musicals. And we had, um, there was one time when we had box seats down at front, the <laughs> little loge seats, I guess you'd call them. And every week we went regularly, a group of us. Estelle Taylor? Estelle Taylor. Yes, I think she and Jack Dempsey. And Jack Dempsey were, together, mm -hmm, yes. They were together, and uh, I did see both of them. She was very pretty, very Okay, Mabel Norman. I uh, distinctly recall one thing. Of, at that time, I never heard of people being on dope or anything like that. But uh, as I waited for her, she came off stage, and she had such a blank, dazed expression. And uh, it confused me a little bit, but she wrote very well, and someone had her by the arm as they walked, took her off stage. Tom Mix, Lafayette Hotel. Oh, he was here, let's see, here, I mean in Buffalo. He came for some some occasion, and I think I went to the hotel to get his autograph. That was it. There was a big parade. He was appearing at a theater. Maybe that was the time when they uh, started to clamp down on the, the giving autographs and letting you behind stage. And if we waited at the hotel, we would get autographs. Vera Gordon? Vera Gordon. She's, uh, she played the Mrs. Goldberg parts. She played so many very touching scenes, and she was also very humorous. Alice Brady. She also was in the legitimate theater. She appeared in a number of movies, too. That's true, although by 1923, her movie career was pretty well over. That's, uh, that's when so many of the stars took to the road, and they would uh, give little talks or... Uh, have a vaudeville act of some kind, whether they performed or did anything besides talk and someone else in the act would do something. These Most of these were gotten after the show? or Yes, after the show. I would see the show and then I would go around backstage and ask for an autograph. And at the beginning, people were very generous with them. It was very easy to get backstage and after a while it tightened up as more people wanted to do it. When they made appearances with movies, how did that usually work? They came out before the movie or after no. the movie? Or? Well, some of them, like George B. Ban, in the middle of the picture, the curtain would part and there would be a scene. But um, some of them came out before the movie and uh, would uh, give a little talk about the movie and hope that we would all enjoy it. Sophie Tucker? Oh, Sophie Tucker was delightful. And uh, she was appearing in a vaudeville act when I went backstage to see her. Lafayette Square was one of the big theaters that opened up as a vaudeville theater originally, and then gradually they would have vaudeville acts and movies. Gilda Gray, the devil dancer. Yes, she made an appearance in vaudeville and she danced. And you saw her did do her famous shimmy? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> did you try to imitate it? No, not at that time. <laughs> Charlie Farrell. Oh, at that time, uh, Janet Gaynor and Charlie Farrell were the big stars, and he came through on a personal appearance. Dan Burroughs? He was in a, in a play at the Tech, and I thought he was very good, so I did go to see him and get his autograph. If I thought someone was particularly good that they might make us be a star, I would ask for their autograph. Well, that's it. Thank you very much. You're very <laughs> welcome.
been a pleasure to talk to you, Mr. Long. <laughs> okay.